YouTube fan, what up though? It's your boy Montez Allen. I got another video, another message for you. And uh, again, I never planned these, man. It, it literally just hit me. Literally just hit me. And uh, I just gotta, uh, I gotta tell you. And I'm just gonna, not, I'm not even gonna waste your time. Uh, you can click the link in my bio. I, I need you to go to, I'm gonna argue you that later. But the name of this message is you gotta fight the urge to quit, right? You got to fight the urge to quit. Now, before I get into it, I'm wearing, I just got my sample in of my trust guy hat. I need a haircut, but my trust guy hat is available. It is such good quality. And I need y'all to see this, like, especially for the summer. But right now I got a trust guy beanies, but man, I got so many compliments on this thing. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to leave the link down in the description so you can get this if you trust God. And it's trusting God is hard. Just be honest with you. But. And just a foam trigger hat. It's good vibes right here. You got to fight. And yeah, just. It's hard. OK, there we go. You got to fight the urge to not to not quit. Because. It seems like and. This is the thing. I've heard so many people, so many people that are successful, that have been homeless, that have slept in their cars, that have been dead broke, that have been in debt, that have filed for bankruptcy. And now they're multi-millionaires. They all said the same thing. You can't quit. When you quit, that's when you fail. And it's so easy. I'm so thirsty. It's so easy to quit. Right. It's so easy to quit when you're going through a tough time, when you're going through hardship, when you're going through failure, it's easy to quit because that's the easiest thing to do is quit. But you got to fight the urge to to not quit. You got to fight that urge to not quit. I think I said earlier, fight the urge to quit. But like you get what I'm saying. And I'm just everything I'm speaking of is like speaking on. It's something that I am going through at the moment. And this is what I hear most people say. Your biggest breakthrough. is you can tell your breakthrough is near when you're getting that urge to quit, when it's the toughest, when you feel like you're going to go crazy, when you feel like nothing, uh, you feel in a, a sense of hopelessness and helplessness. And honestly, like I can't tell people. What I'm going through, because I feel like they're not they're not going to understand it, you know, and and I think God puts that trial on you because only he understands what you're going through. I hope that makes only he can understand it. I can tell my mom. I can tell my brother. I can tell uh, somebody hit me up. I can tell any of these things. Uh, any of these people, but they still at the end of the day, I don't think that they, they're not going to understand because when God puts you through a trial, his trial is specific to you and only he can get you out of it. And only I'm in a trial right now that I can't explain. Right. I, 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 I can't explain it. Period. I can't explain it. So. You you can't give in to that urge to quit. You can't give in that urge to give up. It's so easy to give up. It's so easy, y'all. But the ones that give up never make it to the promised land. The ones that give up never realize their dreams. I am so different. And some of you are watching this. I have goals and dreams of being wealthy, a multimillionaire, of giving back to my mom and my and, and my the schools that I went to and living in Cali and, and not having to work a job. And like all this stuff seems impossible when it's not close. But I hear a lot of people see when you see people that are where you want to be and they've been through what you've been through, but they all say the same thing. I know a guy, his name is Ed Milet. He's worth $500 million. He said he's been broke, bankrupt, car repossessed, had to take showers at his pool with his wife. And now he's worth $500 million. He had to go through that stuff to get to where he is now. Right. And when I hear stories like that, what I'm going through, it ain't quite that bad. But what I'm going through is pretty difficult. Right. On a scale of one to ten, I give it like an eight. 
is pretty bad. But when I hear stories like that, it gives you inspiration and hope that, man, God is going to turn it around. And maybe maybe God has to take you so low to make you go up. That's the only thing, because if you have ambitions of being successful and wealthy and you have dreams and goals of being free from the nine to five, the rat race and all these things, and it's not happening, it's not working. In the Bible, God is the one that is the one that gives increase. He's the one that makes it grow. He's the one that uh, prospers you. If that's true. And if he's not prospering yet, well, some of you might say like people that don't believe in God are prospering. I've literally heard people that say they don't believe in God, but they're on a yacht saying, I don't believe in God. Why am I prospering? But it's people in Africa suffering. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe that's just God's grace. But I'm going to tell you, man, you got to fight the urge to not quit, though. Because you can be you, everybody seen that meme where the guy's digging for gold and one gave up and he was this close, but the other one kept digging and he hit it. And, you know, that's the hope for me. And I think that I hope that's the hope for you. So I just had to pop on here and say, look, man, fight the urge to not quit. Because quitting is the easiest thing you can do. Then you're going to settle into life. And then next thing you know, you're 90 or whatever you are on your deathbed saying I shouldn't have quit. OK, so I need you to grab this. I'm a, uh, I got a line up today, but, it, you know, the barbers here. I mean, I love the bar. I've been going to the same barber since I moved to Georgia, but uh, it wasn't like Detroit to Chicago. So, you know, I didn't get a haircut. I just got a line up. And uh, once I put my do rag on, lay it down to be 360s. But I mean, I still got 360s, but I need y'all to grab this. My trust guy hat. If you, it looks amazing. The, the the material is amazing. Just grab it for me. I'm going to leave the link in the description. But I just want to let you know that it's easy to quit. And when it's the hardest, man, I've heard too many multimillionaires say it. it's always the darkest before the dawn. All right. So, again, my name is Montez. Make sure you click the link below. Head over to Faith Based Merch. I'm going to leave my book, my latest book. I'm about to drop another book. Uh, matter of fact, this is the name of the book. It's going to be called. I wrote it down. Uh, I've done written. I've written five books. So it's going to be called. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I. Uh, oh, man, it's a setup. It's called It's a Setup. How God will use your setbacks as a comeback. Woo! Fire! So, um, I'm going to leave everything in the description. Um, peace and blessings. Bye.